This economic cooperation agreement comes months after the Egyptian business persons claim to have been experiencing double taxation in South Sudan, an accusation denied by revenue collecting officials. In a joint statement in Cairo, we have agreed on major parts. The Minister of Finance and Planning, Dr. Bak Bernavachol, says the agreement will allow financial institutions of the two countries to avoid double taxes on businesses, requesting Cairo to help them in the areas of Treasury single account, customs, public financial management, budget discipline, monitoring and enforcement, adding that the Egyptian officials briefed them on how they managed to bring 61,000 accounts of the government to single account and efficient improvement in tax collections with his Egyptian counterpart Mohammed Ahmed underscoring the need to cooperate in building capacity of the workforce and economic policies which he said are important for the two countries. We have agreed on major parts. We have just signed a memorandum of understanding in that regard. We have then extended our request to have technical assistance and support in custom, in public financial management, in treasury single accounts, in budget and discipline uh, monitoring and enforcement, in different areas. And we have had presentation in those regards. We have benefited together with my team on how they managed to bring the entire 61,000 accounts of the government to one single account and how they have managed to enforce efficient tax collection and tax management and also sealing and spending monitoring uh, system to be able to have an efficient uh, public financial management. Uh, these are areas of our concern and these are the areas why we came to the Ministry of Finance of Arab Republic of Egypt to learn from their experience. We ended by signing uh, a memorandum of understanding between the two ministries and the purpose is to give the umbrella for all the uh, cooperation and coordination between the two ministries. With regard to the public finance, we talked about how to cooperate on transferring knowledge and uh, systems which can uh, ensure that we will uh, have better management for our uh, revenue and also for a more efficient expenditure uh, by uh, looking at the system uh, technology we are using uh, which we can uh, also transfer knowledge and experience on that uh, aspect on tax systems uh, we talked about uh, um, uh, signing double taxation, avoiding uh, double taxation treaty bet uh, agreement between the two countries. Just before signing this economic cooperation, the Minister of Finance and Planning, Dr. Bag Bernavachol, and his accompanying team comprising experts from Central Bank and National Revenue Authority, together with officials from South Sudan's embassy in Cairo and the heads of financial institutions in Egypt, discussed tax transactions and revenue governance. Earlier September this year, the Egyptian finance minister who came to Juba to attend the first national economic conference invited Dr. Bak to meet him in Cairo to explore the areas of cooperation including financial management system, a meeting which resulted today with the signing of an MOU in the capital Cairo. We were invited during his uh, attendance of the national economic conference in Juba to come and continue the understanding on double taxation, to avoid double taxes on uh, businesses between the two countries. Abraham Aken, SSBC News, Cairo, Egypt.